What is good? Ooh. Crack them. Fresh crack for the uh, for a little roster review for your pleasure. So we got a patron's roster here. It's a total rebuild. It is a pretty poor to quite poor uh, roster here. He called it a total rebuild. Right. Uh, we're not throwing na- We're not naming names already. We're not throwing I mean, I'll, I'll tomatoes. Throw some this is a pretty bad roster. It's a terrible roster. But that's why we picked it. Um, that's, that's exactly why I know, picked it. It's great to do the ones with some, some good stuff and some fun rookie picks, but it's also fun to you know do the ones where you got to really dig out of a hole try to figure something out here Hawkeye Glenn is his name Hawkeye Glenn first of all or if you want us to bleep that out we can (laughs) (laughs) you don't yeah the only people that know about this is in your league right now and we're blasting to the world sorry Hawkeye I will say this you did send it to us a while back we apologize we would have done this right away somehow we missed it it somehow just popped up in the bottom of being 30 days old yeah and it says old post total rebuild apologies bro we're yeah. on it now. We got you. So we, we just hammered out a long Patreon over there. Good time. So go check that out. Five dollars uh, on the uh, Patreon's little Discord action as well. It gets all sorts of stuff. But we'll hit, talk about more of that later. But good Patreon episode. Roster reviews over there on most of those episodes. So best shot to get your roster review to certainly sign it up over there. So here we go. We got one for you. It's a one QB, three wide receivers. PPR. PPR. I don't know if there was a premium attached to it. I'll figure that out in just a second. Uh, but he's got Russell Wilson, Rico Dowdle. Um, Before you say all the bad stuff. Okay. He's got the 1-1. One, one. Okay, fair, <laughs> fair enough. Let's talk the good stuff because there's a long list of bad coming. I mean, bad, bad, Hawkeye Glenn. Come on now. So, But, you know, you reached out. You've asked for help. The first step is admitting there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Right? So you got the 1-1. One, one. Hawkeye's got the 1-1. One, one. He's got the 1-4. And he says he's got six second rounders. He didn't even, he, you know, he's so tired of this team. He didn't even <laughs> list them. He's just like, I got six, six of them. them. So we got half of the second round. Love that. And we got the 1-1 one, one and the 1-4. So that's going to be amazing. And in case he's going to break the news. Okay. So we got Russell, Rico Dowdle. That's one QB. Uh, no premium, just standard one point PPR. Roshan Johnson, Samaj P. Ryan, Jamison Williams, JSN, uh, Jalen Hyatt, Michael Mayer. He's got Boswell because he got kickers in this one. He has Isaiah Hodgins, Tutu Atwell, Alec Pierce, Calvin Austin, Noah Fant, and then J.K. Dobbins, Sky Moore, Tommy Tremble, Bengals, Jaguar. So you could see that we got a, a, a pretty bare cupboard over here, right? Sure. And so we have the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, let me just start back from the bottom there and, and the work one, my four. way back up on notables. He's got J.K. Dobbins in the IR spot. So he's got J.K. Dobbins trying to come back from his fourth injury. I'm pulling for you, buddy. Mm-hmm. So he's got Dobbins. He's got Noah Fant, respectable. Um, so he's got a respectable tight end on the bench. That's you know We're still all waiting to break out, but he's still <laughs> super awesome and young and may happen, may they not. They gave him a little bit of change over there. Um, they gave him some cash. Uh, Alec Pierce just got replaced. Calvin Austin, you know, so... No fan. <laughs> J.K. Dobbins coming back. And a lot of people we don't need to talk about for a while. Yep, nobody on that whole page. It's a run one quarterback league, so he's got Russell Wilson and Bryce Young. So Russell's going to hold you down for a minute. And then, like he's said, Dowdle and R- R- Roshaw Johnson, Jamison Williams and JSN, those are the best two players on his team by far. So you got Jamison Williams and JSN holding it down for you and Jalen Hyatt, Michael Mayer. So obviously, depending on how you come up with your draft picks next year, you are a – shoe in for the one one if you don't have to play for it and before i get going <laughs> you got some more well to you got it this year so i mean you must not have to pay for it unless you play for it unless he he could have traded he could have traded but he, he still got the one four so he didn't give us possible. any details he right. didn't want to elaborate too much <laughs> yeah. but he got one one he's got the one one he's got the one four and he's got half the second round do you got anything that you were just sticking out to you before i get on my rant about no this team? i mean it's you got a couple more quarterbacks i didn't list but you have bryce young hen and hooker aiden o'connell royce freeman like you could probably cut hooker o'connell and freeman and guyton in a one quarterback league for the most part if you want to hang on to o'connell cool yeah i mean this is he's got a pretty sizable bench but that's a good point you got you got a couple guys you could cut there off off the rip uh (laughs) it wasn't me right I mean, Cal- Calvin Austin and Alec Pierce, you don't have enough. Dra- well, you do have half the second round draft pick. So you're going to wipe the slate clean with what you're going to bring in. Your, you're going to bring in your rookies and you're going to wipe all this. If I didn't call these players name out and actually say something about them, like Noah Fant, I'd hang on to him. Uh, a couple guys in your starting lineup, I'd hang on to. I, you got to give J.K. Dobbins a whirl. You got enough draft picks. I'm not just throwing. I'm not just cutting Sky more yet, but he's obviously cuttable. Mm-hmm. 
Hayden Hurst could get some some targets. Let's get going here. I think the first question that you have to answer is is what do you do you you picking at one one and one four or is that is it just you gotta you gotta try to get diversify as much as you can because you have so much work to do here. Yeah. So right? obviously, I mean. The, the, the answer to that is yes, you're trading the picks, but you might not get the value that you need to get from a Marvin Harrison at 1-1 one, one to not. I mean, you could, there's nothing wrong with drafting Marvin Harrison and then looking for your out later. Sure. You know, so the last thing. To you're, not last, tra- you're not trapped by the draft. Exactly. You can't yeah. get what you want. Right. So, you know, here we are. We're going to give you the best we got here, but this is the epitome of you got to have patience with this. Mm-hmm. And, we, you know, Casey mentioned it before. We just, it's my first time being back on a Patreon show, the pleasure chest in a long time. We just went hard in the paint for like an hour and a half. We talked some, we, we did rookie. We did some, uh, we did some live ammo, recent dynasty trades. And we both talked about dynasty trades. We just made, that was the first 30 minutes, which was, you know, pretty fun. And then we did some, some more roster reviews. So got to go check that out. Just straight up hour and a half of Casey and I talking, giving it, given everything we got to the pleasure chesters if you're giving us the five dollar holler it's unfiltered everything we got to help uh help you get better we just talked patience on that last show a little bit about some rebuilds and stuff so obviously we got hawkeye here coming to us his name of it was total rebuild you got to have patience with this thing so i'm you're obviously taking marvin harrison at the one one and or trading it when it's on the clock when you know to the best this is not really even trading to the best offer this is trading to the right offer or not trading yet, mm-hmm. right? It's not, well, this is all I could get from Marvin Harrison and my team sucks. I need to do, you know, I need to spread my chips around. You absolutely need to spread your chips around, but it may come in week five, six, ten. It may come, you may hold Marvin Harrison until next year. Not, it, and with the complete intention of trading them, him the entire time, but you have got to find the right deal because that is your best asset by far. Yeah. You know? What you need to do here is the the old, um, you know, you, you start with a you start with a penny, and then you try to end the day with a hundred dollars or mm-hmm. whatever. You know, just bartering your way to different things. Yeah. That's what you got. Just got to be active and moving around. A lot of lot of movement here. Yeah, like that guy that years ago there was a story. The guy started with a penny and he swapped and traded and traded and ended up with like a Winnebago. Yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't. I didn't know if it ran and it drove him across country, but he did. He did something. That's that's what you're trying to do here. I think. Yeah, I like and that. I like I like hanging on to the one one for a while or, or whatever it is but you need to spread this around and it's going to yeah. be it's going to be two years of maybe of, three of mess well two years is to put minimum a, a semblance of a decent team now the six the six twos just about to say that and, and so one one and one four i'm trying to whether like you said it's draft because you can't get the competition while you're on the clock and it might be four weeks might be 24 weeks might be Mm -hmm. 52 weeks Mm -hmm. that's a year yep Yep. um nice math (laughs) yeah um but but get 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 what you should because you're not in any rush here to to sell those guys and we talked about that you people joining the league and then selling their best player in 15 minutes Mm -hmm. like you got all the time in the world here okay just just let it come to you so the one one you're taking harrison or you're trading him for a haul Mm -hmm. but it's not a one there's not there's not one player that you if say hey you know i'll give you don't don't one for one this thing you can't yeah if somebody's like hey i'll give you st brown because something something great but (laughs) what are you gonna do with st brown on this (laughs) team yeah just gonna go into the abyss right exactly so you throwing a hot dog down the hallway there you you (laughs) you would only get the only way that would work out for you is if you got if that was if st brown was in a trade two years ago where you got yeah. player a and st brown was player b or c in that deal and right. then he blows up you know because yeah. you're like all right well st brown called all his passes the last half of the year well everybody else was hurt was he good or not yeah he just got 100 million guaranteed right that worked out well so that that's the kind of position you're trying to trade marvin harrison jr for like two or three guys one of them's got to be a stud obviously he's not going to be ranked ahead of marvin harrison or you wouldn't get the deal done but you got to trade marvin harrison for that next stud down type player you know a garrett wilson if you will like a garrett wilson plus this plus that because one for one isn't going to do you any any mm-hmm. good so the one four in my mind you either taking rome or brock bowers in the rookie draft but the most valuable thing you could do is probably trade back 
at the time so you can continue to get more players Stack assets. if the bet if you could trade back from one four to one six seven or eight and pick up another player that's young enough you don't there's no need for you to get keenan allen okay? yeah how far back there's, do i have to go to get Jalen waddle or something exactly you know? there's no need for you to get a keenan or any of those guys a deontay johnson ain't helping you it, not a 28 year old receiver 27 year old receiver like you you're going to be before you're mm-hmm. any good those guys are going to be out of the league mm-hmm. so like you need to get a, a Jalen Waddle is a great ex- example um but like say a Jalen Waddle he's basically right around a Roman Duze type value now so like you can uh, you just the same idea with one one but you got to just scale back your uh you know your intentions or what you think you know what you what you think you're about to get yeah um got to collect more assets collect more things right um and then we got the six twos, right? Right. So if you trade back from four, you know, to where obviously you got all, you got half the second round, but you trade back from four far enough to get somebody good and still be in that rank. Still you make know, a pick somewhere in there. St- you know, or have the option to. Right. So you got all those rookie, you're the Keon Coleman's of the world, the Ricky Pearsall's of the world. All those guys start becoming very valuable to you. This is one quarterback. So they, all those guys are going to be in the first round. It's like you could trade back from four to Pearsall or Keon Coleman or Brian Thomas Falls. Maybe you don't have to drop, drop, drop back that far because somebody's in love with Rome or somebody's in love with Brock Bowers. I mean, you should be in love with them, but again, you just need, you need to multiply here. Mm. Um, and then you get into that second round. He didn't list his picks, but that second round, when you got half the seconds, um, half the second round, I mean, you just, you need to be just taking the best asset available and, stacking those picks and if you trade those picks the same thing holds you know if you're on the clock at two three yeah this isn't a situation where i want to trade the two for hollywood you know exactly right? good per- you perfect know, example i'll do that all day but this no way no perfect shot example. In hell. perfect example do you, something else and you know and 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 realistically like you know you probably need to take two of those second round picks try to find another try to find the worst team you can that will trade with you and because you don't want to, you don't want to start with a, the winning team. But like trade, maybe you know, maybe you're at two one or something, yeah. and you could try to trade back that, let that two one fall all the way down to three seven and get that team's first next year, mm-hmm. or that team's like no chance. My team's gonna be really bad next year. All right, you know, give them that two one and then take two twelve and let that two twelve fall all the way back to three five or something and get that team's first round next year. You still got four second round picks. You just went back to the third on one of them, but now you got your first round pick just going to be early next year, and you got another early first round pick. You know, start from the top of the worst teams and work your way down and try to get another first round pick next year, so you can try to get some premium players Mm -hmm. next year, and then you can kind of continue playing this game. Um, So that's really all you can do moving forward. Uh, You might you you know in the season you might be able to catch a value bump on somebody on your team and take a chance and trade out and and you know just quantity over quality you know here yes yeah, so, you know jsn isn't somebody i necessarily want on this type of team right here but but in in when you're another year away i think jsn will be starting to turn a value corner and, and be looking like oh this is a really really good player so you should be able to kind of double down on him at some point here soon as well hopefully i wouldn't sell him right now because he's no exactly down a little bit so you don't have like anybody on the actual roster you really you know you might be able to like give one of those twos when you're moving back and trying to get a first give somebody like rico dowdle in that just as like here you know i, I might be able to throw something like that into a trade that's that's a great point when we first looked at the team that was the first thing i was going to say and of course i get off on tangent and got lost but rico dowdle's a sell he's basically the only person that you're going to get anything for right now you'll probably get something for jamison williams but it's so close you don't work don't trade him right now like it's, it's it's so close to being more valuable you could trade jamison williams before he plays a game if you want to but right now the coaches are hyping him up and it you just got to let it play out you got to let people figure out that they really don't have another wide receiver to throw to and then it'll come through <laughs> you know uh, there's there's so many targets over there it like for the type of quarterback that jared Goff is uh, jameson williams being a consistent high target earner is not in the near future for the detroit lions without injury to the current cast of characters yeah. so i don't mind you trading jameson williams on a hype bump because you need so much help anyway you can take the bottom out of it if something doesn't work out if you t- two years from now when your team's really rounded into form, I love having Jamison Williams. The upside is tantalizing, but on this team, you could trade him later in the off season or in week three if he has a good touchdown or something. You know, I, you got to do what you got to do. Um, um, it, 
this is not a, a team where you you were you know we mentioned falling back there's there's no reason that you would want to take you know some of those twos and try to move up into the first tier like yeah if you this is but though especially if the twos are because it's a one quarterback i've been i've been in so many two quarterback leagues or super flex leagues like i'm so into seeing like keon coleman and xavier leggett and pearsall at like two four two five two six so many times mm-hmm. but if you take out basically five quarterbacks that's the two move those guys know? back to the second for right the most part maybe yeah. caleb goes in the first but caleb probably would or should go to the first if you if caleb goes if caleb drops to two one in this league take caleb I mean, it's fine. The Bible will have a good time with him. He gets, yeah, you don't have you don't you know? really have a quarterback. You could, I mean, you you, you don't. I mean, Russell Wilson is <laughs> fine. Will play with you for now. You could, you know, take Jaden Daniels in the second round. But yeah. I would, I, yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't really be looking into too much. You could take Jaden Daniels and then trade him in season, just on a huge swing if he's out there rolling because he's not going to do anything for you either. Like that, you just got to keep got to pop. I would try my best to get all of the. Uh, Lad McConkey's probably going to go to you know Worthy and Lad are going to be consistently taken earlier than the other wide receivers. But I'm Brian Thomas is a good staff for this team. But I'll be trying to get the Keon Coleman's and the Xavier Leggett's for cheap that they fall back into your second round picks. Uh, well, you know, yeah, the, you hopefully have some quarterbacks go in the first round for you to get uh, bump a few of those guys back. They but, can, but this I, I I I'll retract that a little bit I, because I was uh, my brain's automatically thinking two quarterbacks. I I, I might would maybe trade one of those two for Hollywood Brown just because we're, if we're a middle two for some reason I don't know why you'd be able to get him there why you'd be able to trade for that but I've I've pulled it off in super flex leagues this year trading the two in, in draft for Hollywood so it might because of the middle two here being maybe more like the quarterbacks than like it is in a super flex league mm-hmm that maybe I, if I could get that value for Hollywood, maybe I would take that value and then try to sell Hollywood again. Later. Instead, right. Yeah, I guess I guess there's I almost point. I almost think that there's at some point probably that's probably the better way to go with the twos. If you could trade him for a player like Christian that, Watson or something, which, uh, you know, that's a great he's young enough. That, that's but he's an great, escalator boom, that could yeah. maybe put two of those together, try to get him because the later they go, you know, you got to get the quarterbacks out of the way and then it kind of resets back to, you know, how super flex values would be right no i mean i don't mind i i probably would i would i would agree with the the hollywood part to that if like once all the i still need those first round wide receivers that were draft all those guys need to be off the board yeah. by the t- before i even make that play yeah and at the, at the top of the two you'll still have some of those guys hanging around because benson and, and brooks will will shoot up into that first round they might be you know brooks might be one six in a one quarterback and benson will be up in there so if you could get Caleb or Daniels, but Daniels would be a good play for this team, even though, you know, cause he's a guy who could shoot up in value because right. of the rushing upside. So if he's hanging around in the second, just cause it's a quarterback, I know it's not the sexiest, most fun pick, but if he's like the most explosive best guy available there, yes. then smash, you know, grab him and, and no, try to turn no, that into no reason you can't get a court, put a quarterback on your team that can score 25 points. Yeah. You know, but like, you know, so if you, if you're, tr- when you're trading back, if you, if you can get, you know, the two one or whatever, if you ended up, you know, two one. If you got two two or something, and you're able to get back into the third round and get pick up a first next year or something like that, and pay, if it takes two of the twos to do that, you know, you're just being able to scoop up like the yeah. AD Mitchells, Troy Franklin going to Denver. You know, mm-hmm. like if you're trading back, you can get you got your twos of, that you're targeting, trying to get your Keon whoever because like, they're not they can't all make it to the second round because they're going to get drafted. But uh, Keon Coleman, Pearsall, Leggett, one of those guys makes AD. it to the second round. Those are the guys oh. that you want to be drafting. But like, uh, you know, the Jermaine Burtons and the Javon Bakers, those are guys that could really splash mm-hmm. as as rookies. Um, they might not, but they certainly could. And then, you know, give yourself something to do because he doesn't list any other draft picks. So the the point of that is you still get players. If you can get, you know, somebody's first round pick and if you work your way down and the guys that don't want to, that have the bad teams don't want to make those deals with you, you go to a guy that's in the middle you know, you're like, hey, this guy finished. He's got the one eight. He had a, he made the playoffs. He's not a good team. He could, I could see he's got some old guys. They could, a couple of injuries. He could be down there at the one four next year. But if you trade from the two two to down to three 
five and you get yourself a first round pick next year, you still get the guy at three five. Mm-hmm. Who, if you pick, the, you know, obviously at the three five, you got a much less likely chance of picking a good player than you did at two two. Mm-hmm. You know, because odds go down as you go down the list, but you could still get, you know, you could still get lucky. You know, you could be get Jalen McMillan. You could get your Jacob Cowing down there in the fourth round. You know, mm-hmm. you could just you got a couple. If you trade back a couple times and get even if you don't say if you have to pivot and you can't get that first rounder from next year Mm -hmm. but like if you're at two five and you're all the really guys that you know now you're about to throw a dart anyway okay you're at two five if i'm gonna give you this two five i'm gonna trade all the way back to three nine and get hollywood brown Mm -hmm. so now i put hollywood brown on my team and now i got to three nine and then I could look over here at a Luke McCaffrey or, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you still, th- that, that you're getting two for one. Cause yeah. you got to go quantity here. And I, I you know, you got to get the quality when you can get it. But if you're at two, five, two, six in a one quarterback league and you're sitting over here going like, well, do I get, do I take Troy Franklin? Do I take Javon Baker? Do I take this guy? Do I take that guy? Do I take this running back that might do, I don't know, you know, well, you get a sh- base Hollywood is about as a sure thing as it can get for the value of a player. Yeah. You know, 10th round startup pick right now. He's just forgotten about, he's about to go out there with Patrick Mahomes who had to throw to MVS for two years. Right. You know? So like he's about as sure and he's only 25, 26 years old. He ain't like 29. Right. Right. You know? So like he's about a sure thing of a value bump. And uh, you know, you can look at the ADP and pick out guys that are going to be more valuable in October than they are September 1st. Hollywood's on a short list right christian kirk's on the short list you know yeah kirk kirk wouldn't be a not as much of a he's he's, he's a buy if i need him to play but the like what i i don't want to kirk's, wanna, lo, kirk's was, older yeah he's 29 well he's not 29 28 but. but i mean he's a couple he's two seasons older than marquis brown for sure um christian kirk might be 27 but we're checking okay we just gave him a couple years we yeah. can bake we he'll gave be 20, we just he'll gave be 28 in season 28 in season so like kirk wouldn't be somebody i would necessarily trade for on this team mm-hmm. because there's I know that the value's depressed on him regardless of what he does, and he's not going to go up. But Hollywood's a little younger, and now on a fancy, shiny offense, he could escalate. Christian Watson could escalate. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want tra- to make those trades for a guy like that because Christian Watson's or Christian Kirk's value. I, I just know from trading for him and having him in, in some spots and wanting to try to move him at the end of last year that nobody gave you proper value on him. Love it. So that yeah. wouldn't be. A, necessarily the, but the idea of something like yeah, that and, is, and package up you got that two two you're trying and you got a guy with a good uh, the, with a bad team that's going to have an early two a first next year throw given the rico dowdle hey i'm gonna give you this two two rico dowdle i'll give you jalen hyatt you know you start click those boxes man yeah. i'm gonna give you jalen hyatt um and he's like man i don't want Jalen hyatt that's fine keep Jalen hyatt if he doesn't want him if yeah. he's not if he's not if that's, that's not bringing any deal throw, to th- throw Jalen hyatt and and rico daddle on every bit of trade that you're trying to get yeah. done somebody will take it and if he and if he's given you and if he basically and, and if he gives you a counter and Jalen hyatt's not in it if it's not a wonky counter then you're like all right well you know Jalen hyatt has no value you might go back and forth a time or two and if Jalen hyatt you keep sending a different package and Jalen hyatt's in it and he comes back and Jalen hyatt's not in it yeah he, then he doesn't want, want him Hiley, right. then he's not giving Fine. you any value yeah. don't give him away for free you got roshan johnson yeah you find the uh De- deandre swift guy and maybe deandre swift is maybe roshan is you play that up say hey i got De- yeah he good. could just take it over. He, roshan can take a, a deal with a with a running back or really any de- or a deal with a Chicago running back or really any deal slightly over the top because it might like, be the hey, kicker he's interesting yeah, might be the kicker with yeah and after um, the draft after the draft or after the after the pick four five six or whatever and 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 um uh the tight end for the Brock Bowers is gone you got Michael Mayer you could just go hey I got I got my is he just cheap a, mayor cheap I got cheap Michael Mayer for you he's in this he's in this package I'm trying to I'm trying to trade back from two two to three five and get your first next year. I'll give you may you know just you yeah. gotta be creative and build your packages as round whatever you have to sell here. Uh, yeah. I think Casey's right. I would you can't sell. I wouldn't sell JSN or or Jameson Williams right now. And those really and so Rico Dowdle is a is a sell. And if you if he's for some reason. If he's killing it in week five and you sold him, it's okay. Okay, yeah. You, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's the game we play. Yeah. That's the game we play. I remember a couple of years ago we had that we had the Dynasty Depot guy on our show, and he had Mike Davis everywhere because Mike he got lucky and he got a bunch of Mike Davises off the waiver wire. Mike Davis was supposed to be good, 
And I was like, dude, you got to sell that Mike Davis and turn that profit right now. And he goes, no, man, I'm going to hold. He's going to crush. And I was like, okay, you're not listening to me. Sell half of those Mike Davises, please. Just sell half so you turn those profits. Yeah, get something for some of them. 12 months later, he was on the waiver wire in every league. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, so like if you sell, you sell Rico Dowdle right now and, and he's in a package to do anything of what we just talked about, all those different scenarios, and Rico Dowdle helps you do one of them, and he crushes for a couple weeks next year, crushes for the whole season. That's just how fantasy football works. That's how the NFL works. Uh, you know, I saw, you know, something on Sleeper today talking about how cool that one season was of Justin Forsett. I mean, like, this is, <laughs> that's just what happens, man. Running yeah. backs pop up for a year. Rico Dowdle might be on that sweet spot, and the, and the Cowboys might not bring in anybody else, and they might just ride with it. because they've, Zeke and Rico. You know, <laughs> they might just ride with it, and Rico might be crushing, but he did not he, – He's just going to hurt. He's if least, he's crushing it on your team, he's, he's at hurt least interesting pick. for some people in this league. If you toss him in there, Roshan too and Hyatt. So that well, this know. is a st- it's a start three running back league. Yeah. So this could be very very interesting. You know, he might be. Um, or what is that? What is RWT? I thought that was running back. Like oh, know. running back, wide receiver, tight end. That's a flex. My yeah. bad. I thought that was it's a green spot. That's a weird. I thought it was three running yeah. back. That's a flex. Colored the same. Got it. So use right. a start two running back. So we we got to wrap this up, but. Um, uh, it's green because it has a running back in the spot. Yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, so to recap, with the first, you diversify as much as you can. Doesn't matter if but it's you're the thing now or if mm-hmm. it's in a year. And then the seconds. Now that I've sat here and we've talked through this, this is kind of the options I see with the second. You, I would say that you actually would maybe try to take two and try to move up into the first round mm-hmm. here, and then you do whatever you want with that pick, but get up into the first round, get it a little more valuable. Mm-hmm. Second option. Take the higher end up one, pair them with something else, and maybe some uh, some of those guys on the roster. Move it as far back as you can to get a first mm-hmm. next year. Yep. Third option is then on the on the other two picks that you have or whatever, you know, depending on who's where and where the picks are. But the option is draft the the biggest upside, or uh, which is you know seems fairly obvious, but or trade for somebody that's like a you know that that you feel the values down on that is still young enough and exciting enough to really bounce back and increase in value so you can two for one that thing a little later and gain value on the asset right so that's kind of the way i see the seconds playing out is and then you know then you just it's patience and, and activity of is how you're going to get this thing better anything else before we go no i was just trying to pull up so just some some trade pages to look for players that just that fit that exact description somebody that just kind of fell down a little bit yeah that I mean, pop we, back christian up. watson's like a really good one because i don't love christian watson but like he's he's just on an offense that's fun they're gonna people are gonna see him a lot and if he can get out there and be right and make some explosive plays which he already has you know there's a stat floating around when he's out there his target share is is pretty high i love christian watson i, I do i love christian watson and i love that that you brought that up because that is a really really good one um you you have jameson so you know he's he's young and could explode you know Jahan dotson nobody likes that guy so maybe you can scoop him up in a trade they, they got a quarterback and he had a good rookie season i think he's a decent player like buy the quentin johnston you know if, great call if people are giving you these not and, for and, a two not for a two no no nope. no, no. i'm yep. just saying like, like one of those late threes that you traded back for i'm even saying just in involved in trade doesn't mm-hmm. even need to be a specific be a one for one but just like just be trying to pick up those lower end guys who can bounce back and say fuck it you know if they do nothing they do nothing but like you know in in a in a in a trade where you're going to get Hollywood, if that person has Rahid Shahid on the team, throw Rahid Shahid in the deal. See how much he has. Va- maybe he has no value at all on Shahid. Yeah. See if you could pick him up for free and he could sp- splash and maybe catch you a third or maybe even somebody's pumped because he's had a great four game stretch and he's fast and they don't have a lot of receivers in, in New Orleans and, and people are, you know, maybe you could figure out a way to finesse another two somehow. You know, That's a good point. So I like a, I like a, you could trade a when you've done your trades back and you have a third round pick or something in your late third round or something fourth round pick some because somebody's sleeping on a curtis samuel Mm -hmm. he's 27 so he's a little bit older than hollywood but like he could easily be getting some serious ppr points in buffalo first couple weeks of the season and then you could just sell it's a three start three wide receiver league plus a flex uh you know it's it you know just one of those things where you could probably catch a, a a bump in value on Curtis. I think Curtis Samuel is going to be more valuable in week four than he is before week one. Um, yeah, he's a I mean, little bit that's, older, that's so a, I wouldn't really right. invest well, that, a lot. Um, but that's I, a good point that we kind of talked about on a couple other shows is 
because you're in this phase, obviously you want the young guys, but if somebody's going to attach no value to somebody like a Curtis Samuel and mm -hmm. you can get him in a trade, then you don't have to turn down Curtis Samuel. You, you can hopefully be able to flip Curtis Samuel for something else. Yeah. Because there's an opportunity. He's just not as sexy. It's not going to be as a big of a leap. Yeah, he would be somebody that you're getting thrown <laughs> in in a deal that does something else, or either you're trading uh, fourth, you know, late third. And then somebody, the person that has Curtis Samuel in your league might be like, oh, my God, Curtis Samuel's about to crush. But somebody might be in, in another league, somebody might be like, you can have Curtis Samuel. I'd rather have that 312 draft pick right there. Yeah. All right, well, let's wrap this up. Appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, five star review on, if you're listening on the podcast. Um, five dollar holler over on the patreon get you hooked up with the discord there's drafts and adps and rookie rankings and we're working on dynasty rankings right now uh we get three extra episodes uh, a month with that subscription there's a, a little a rookie draft kit over there with a lot of good information on all the rookies a lot of good stats um and yeah anything else big co man i enjoyed it thanks for having me yeah yeah all right we'll catch you next time peace